Hey, what's up everybody? This is Manny Ortiz. I'm here with Diana. Hi. <laughs> uh, uh, today we're doing a posing video and I'm gonna go over 10, 10 tips for better posing. So let's, yeah, let's get started. Okay. All right guys, so tip number one is shoot her favorite side, okay? So about 95% of the women that I have photographed, they all have a favorite side. If Diana believes that the right side of her face is her good side, then you know what, I wanna focus on that because I want her to feel good in her pictures. I want her to feel beautiful. So that's, yeah, that's tip number one. All right, so posing tip number two is shifting the weight to the back leg. And, okay, go ahead, babe. So stand, stand regular and put your weight on your back leg. So what's closest to the camera, it's, it appears bigger. So what happens is when you shift your weight to your back leg, what it does for most people is slim them down. It makes them look slimmer in the waistline, okay? Now go ahead and sw switch your weight to your front leg. Okay, so what happens is when you put your weight on your front leg, this appears bigger, okay? And for most girls, they don't want this to be bigger. Usually it's not flattering for most women, but if that is, if that is an asset that a, that a model wants to show, perfectly fine. But I recommend always putting the weight to the back leg and having them turn their torso toward you. Yeah, so it emphasizes more on her face and not her waist and how big her waist is, okay? So, My waist is not that big. My hips. No, no, yeah, your hips. <laughs> okay, so posing tip number three is slouching, okay? And a lot of people, as they're getting comfortable with the camera, you will notice, okay, yeah, see obviously no, okay, what are you doing? I'm slouching. <laughs> okay, slouch again, okay. <laughs> So when someone's getting used to the camera, I've noticed that, you know, they're kind of, they're a little nervous um, and they tend to slouch a little bit. So you have to remind the model that uh, to fix her uh, posture. So I want you to arch your back. Yeah. So that there you go. See, that's what you want with a model. You want their back, their lower back arch. So go ahead, arch your back. It's actually oh, okay. Now slouch. <laughs> normal. Just like this is a normal way. Okay. Now arch your back. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that difference, but that is definitely a very important thing to remember in a shoot. Okay, so for posing tip number four, um, when you're taking a photo and you're cropping it from just below the knee, what you want to do is create a merging line at the bottom of the photo. So when you're cropping, when you're cropping from here up, have those Put, cross those legs over, it just looks a lot better. That's what I do. Okay, so posing tip number five is all about negative space, okay? So what I mean by negative space, right here, you, you can see right from her waist and her arms if she has her arms straight down. But for a lot of people, when you have your arms straight down, um, there's no gap between your waist and your arm. So what happens is you kind of, you appear a little thicker. You know, you appear like, you know, especially if you have long sleeves of the same color and you have your arms right here, arms to the side, let's say you have one in here, one in here, your body appears a little wider, okay? So what I mean by creating negative space is, okay, putting your, by just her putting her hand on her hip, put your hand on your hip here. Okay, so you see the waistline. That's very important because it makes her look slimmer. It gives you that line where her waist is, okay? And so let's say on this side, you wanted that arm down, okay? Let's pretend like she didn't have negative space here. All she would have to do is naturally just create space. There's any way, yeah, there you go. See, like, just like that. If you wanted her arm down, you would create space there. Um, oh, let me get on this side. That is very important when photographing uh, different types of women. You know, not all women are, are super slim like her with this little tiny waist. You do have a small waist. <laughs> well, you know, you want to make sure that you show off the waist and you don't want this blob of, you know, one arm here um, where it, she kind of looks wider. You definitely want to show off the waist and create space, okay? Okay, so posing tip number six is when, you, when you're telling her to look in the direction and all you see is white in her eye, that's a problem, okay? Because then she's going to end up looking like The Undertaker or something, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's gonna, you're going to look weird. That was, that was pretty bad. It was cute. Uh, I tried to forget I'm that. Cute. Okay, so tip number seven is do not obscure the jawline, okay, and that is of the model. So, if I were to ask the model, okay, what I want you to do, I want you to put, it, put your hand on your face, 
Okay, so I have seen that happen before, okay? And what she's doing here is she's putting her hand on her face, but she's covering her jawline. Okay, so posing tip number eight is you wanna make sure the model has soft, relaxed hands, okay? Because that makes a huge difference in a photo. What I want you to do is trace along the top of your head, along the top of your hair, and I want you to stop and then twirl your hair at the bottom. Okay, so you see, if you were to tell her to just go straight for her hair, she'd probably, okay, go straight for your hair. Grab your hair. <laughs> Thank you for proving my point. But sometimes when you ask them to grab their hair, they kind of just grab it. If you tell her to possibly, you know, just trace the top of your hair onto the tip and then twirl, it's kind of a more of a natural motion that's gonna lead to softer hands. So. Try to, try to use motion as much as you can when posing because it creates softer hands. Okay, posing tip number nine is about building poses. So what I'm gonna have you do, okay, so I want you to put your, I want to put your weight on your right leg. Weight on your right leg, okay? What I want you to do with your right hand, kind of trace your hair, touch your hair. What I want you to do with your left hand is put it on your waist, okay? Make sure your elbow is pointed to the side, right? So now what I can do, I can, from this simple pose, I can build and I can move pieces around. Like this hand, I can do many other things with this hand. Come closer to the camera, come closer. So I can do many other things with this hand. This hand, you could move it from the waist, face the camera. So what I can do with this hand, move it from the waist, move it across the top of her stomach, right there to that pose. I can move this hand and she can move it across, across her clavicle, clavicle so you can come across and then keep it right there, okay? And then she can move this hand around, put it on your put it on your hip. Put it yeah, you can put it on your hip right here, like in the front of your hip right there. You know like that. There's so many things that you can do. Put your right leg over your left leg. Okay? You see that? There's these are pieces and you have to move move it piece by piece, and that's going to help you break down posing. Okay, so posing tip number 10 is always give the model positive reinforcement. Give positive reinforcement. Even if the pose looks ugly, even if the picture didn't come out good, you wanna always say, great, oh my, that, that came out awesome. Okay, let's try this instead, okay? Never say, uh, that wasn't that wasn't too good, but let's try this. No, because then the model's gonna think they don't look good. They're gonna feel like they're the problem. So do not do not make that mistake. And I learned, thankfully I learned with her. So now when I shoot with people, I tell them that looked awesome, but we're gonna try this instead. When I know in my camera, that didn't come out good, and I'm not showing her that picture, okay? All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed those 10 tips on posing. I know we had a little fun. Yep. And I hope you guys can take something away from this video, okay? Subscribe. So, please subscribe, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.